Hi there, in this video, I'll demonstrate how you can sync Lego Box's catalog with your cloud storage. So we can use cloud functions to create two different functions. And the first one would be upload asset. And to do that, you hit create function, and then you name your function. And after that, you will select cloud storage as your trigger type. And in this case, we're doing upload function. So it will get triggered upon a new file being added to the bucket. And here we can select the bucket and hit select and save. And we don't really need to change any of these settings here and then go to next. And this is where you will select your runtime as Python 3.7. And this is where the main file goes and this is the requirements file. So I've already created a function and this is what it will look like where requirements go in here. And then the main function is in here. So I'll quickly walk through what this function does. So here we have an event that is cre being created uh, and that is an event payload in dictionary format. And that dictionary format looks like this, which contains information about the bucket, content type, ID, and so forth. And then I'm taking the information about the bucket name and the file name and storing that here. And then I'm creating a new data set with the default integration and creating a new data row with global key. And this will be very handy when we are trying to delete an asset as we'll see in part two. So once you have set your source code here, you will just hit deploy. Since I've already deployed my upload function here, I'll go ahead and upload a file and show you what that would look like. So I have a created away image here. And we can see that this image has been uploaded here. And we can see we have the default integration here. Hi there, this is part two of how to sync your cloud storage with Labelbox's catalog. So here I have the delete asset cloud function and here I'm setting the file's name to the global key. And then I'm looking for all the data IDs where that global key is. And that is a dictionary that contains information about the status. And in the results, we have data IDs that match that. So here I'm saying when the status is successful, uh, grab me the data ID and I'm getting the data row object here and then I'm performing the delete and if I'm not able to find the global key then it will just print this out and once you have deployed this cloud function we can see what it would look like here so we can see that I have this image here and let's see what happens if I go ahead and delete this so if I refresh that image is gone. And if I go navigate to the logs, we can see that the cloud function was executed with status okay. Thank you.